Hey everyone, and welcome to Wild Seasons. Today we are taking a look at the demo for this upcoming deck builder. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Bean Games, the developer behind Wild Seasons, for providing me with an early access key for this game. They are releasing a demo that you'll be able to check out in the upcoming Steam Fest, which will be live either today or tomorrow, depending on when this video goes live. I'm not quite sure about that yet. As mentioned, Wild Seasons is a deck builder. In between battles, you'll be tending your garden, and your garden is where you build your deck. You have a limited amount of plots available to plant various types of plants, and each plant will represent a card in your deck. Each plant can upgrade for a more powerful version, if tended to properly, or can wither and die if you ignore it. Furthermore, there's various ways to buff each plant with extra defense, damage or other buffs. The way to introduce new cards is simply by buying new plants in the shop in between the battles. In the demo, we'll see that the game offers several different starting bonuses and three acts, although we only have access to one act here in the demo. I believe there's a fixed amount of battles available each act and it's up to you how many and in what order you want to do them. The goal is to defeat the boss at the end of each act. The game kind of teases that there could be some sort of story involved but in the demo we unfortunately don't see any, any of it so it might just be my wishful thinking on my part. Without any further ado, let's try Wild Seasons. Okay, so we are pretty much just gonna start from the beginning here we see we have several choices i think i unlocked this one because i played through it once but we we're gonna do this one where we start with an extra draw and we start with an extra five dollars i think i think this is currency in between uh, in between the battles you'll see in a minute but we also have here the fuller your garden the bigger your high power multiplier is which is something we'll get into as we see our first battle and there are plenty of seasons here to try we cannot see what these do, but we can see how to unlock them. But we have a, we have quite a few here that we can play, at least for now. But for the purpose of today's episode here, we're going to do Season of Beginnings. So we are starting off here, and this is our garden. As we can see, we have a grid 4x4, where we can plant, a, uh, we can plant something in each of these. That will give us a card. We have a couple of nutmegs here, which gives us a defense card. Uh, what you see out here to the right is literally the card. So that's what you'll be seeing as uh, as you do battles. And what else we have? We have a couple of micro basils here that uh, that is attack cards. We have a torch lily that is an AUE card, attack card. And then we have the something. I'm not gonna, even going to try to say this. But it draws adjacent nutmegs and makes them free to play. This will uh, These can be very powerful. Up here we can see we have our we have some currency we have five water and this is probably what it means by five extra dollars uh, i would assume so anyway and in between we use water as a currency to tend to our garden now we have a watering can here and we can see this is the pattern it wa it, it 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 waters in so there is some there's some uh, there's some tactics as to how you actually want to place your plants as well because obviously right here this is a this is a good place to water because it it i use one uh, one resource here to water for plants so we might as well just go ahead and do that straight away and we have a trowel here as well a troll i actually have no idea but you can move plants around it costs one water as well other than that we have our flower corner which is a store each store has something called a sneak peek that is not available in the demo so other than uh, what uh, the the ability is called sneak peek your guess is as good as mine and we will we will be offered three plants and two abilities down here now these are always random plants cost two and these uh, random abilities cost three water each uh, let's see actually what we can do here so we can get we can buy a wormwood that'll heal us for four and gives us seven shield but will wither which means that it'll be destroyed after play so it's a one 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 time per per combat which is not bad at all it's four heal that's that's quite nice if a thyme as well gives us shield and we gain a combo 
Combo is quite nice because I believe it means that we can play attack cards um, for free. Or in, instead of um, causing an action, which we have two of every turn, we, we use a combo to play attack cards. So they can be very, very powerful. And then we have Rosemary here, which is another attack card. Uh, I think we, we are going to go ahead and buy two of these. I like these two. They're very defensive. But it does also mean that our our attack cards more like more than likely could 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 be free, which means we can play very defensively. So let's buy these two and let us uh, let us water these. Does it actually say what the watering can does? Uh, yes. Okay. So each each turn. After we click house, this is how we go into a um, into the next uh, next battle. When we are done everything, we click harvest. Then every plant will lose health. But if if we water them, we can see down here that there's a chance that they won't lose health this turn. So this is this is very much going to be a factor as to how fast you want to play, how how fast you want to 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 uh, to charge for the for the for the boss of the acts. Because you, you you might have a great deck, but but have a lot of plants that that are close to dying. Meaning you might want your your very powerful deck against the boss and not risk losing it on the next battle, uh, a next random battle anyway. But that is how it looks for now. Let's see here. What do we have? We have we can buy sulfur as well. Chance to raise attack. Or we can buy a blood meal. Chance to make attack piercing. That's uh, also kind of nice. What do we have actually? Attack wise. Uh, we could use a couple of water to get these three in a pattern. I don't know if water transfers between, um, between battles. And this is this is a chance, so this 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 could be this could be a complete waste, but we'll see. Nope. Yeah, attack that one. Very nice. Four to five. That's nice. That one and two. That's very nice. And if I had thought about it, I would have switched these two, so we could grab this one and use it on the torch lily. But I guess for now we'll use it on these two. One worked. The other one worked as well. That's that's kind of nice to be honest. That's kind of nice. Well, that's uh, pretty much all we can do here. So let's uh, let's harvest and move to the map. And yeah, we do get some weeds that can grow in empty fields. These are basically filler cards. They are not completely useless. They do offer some very basic uh, basic attack and basic uh, basic uh, shields or defense. But yeah, obviously you would rather have uh, better cards. These are the three acts we have. Uh, we can see. And here in the demo, we only have access to the beach, so that's where we're gonna go. And this is kind of where, where I'm feeling that maybe there's gonna be some some sort of story because each of these are a um, you know each of these are a battle, and we can see here that each of these things also has an event afterwards. If we win, this one has uh, propagates for three water chance to duplicate a plant. I guess that's not too bad. We have a fountain of rest. We have all sorts of different things here that we can check out before. But each of these, we can see here, they're called buy a new light bulb or drop off dry cleaning. Um, they seem kind of random, so I'm 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 kind of thinking that there might be some story at some point. But for now, we can it. We are kind of just role playing that uh, whatever we 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 want to. We can choose to leave home for now, and that's what we're gonna do. Uh, the reward here is an item shop for three water by permanent garden supplies. Well, I guess we'll see. <clears throat> okay, we are up against the butt. Uh, what powers the illusion that twists the city so? And here we go. This is the battle interface. We have two action points down here, as we can see. We can rest, which will come into play with our high power. Each card will either add, deduct, of simply as these uh, these weeds here do absolutely nothing. When we hit a high power, our attack cards deal double damage. When we reach full power and then play something that gives power, 
uh, um, that will go beyond our meter. We will take four damage and lose half of our shield. Shield persists through the turns, by the way. Uh, and that's when we want to rest. That will reset our meter. It'll also end the turn, however, so keep that in mind. Let's see here. Okay, so this guy is going to grow, so he'll gain six shield and a combo. Not exactly sure what combo is for the enemy here, but um, for now, what we can do is we can play the Thyme for some defense. That'll give us a combo, meaning that the base will be, will be free. Or the chickweed, we can do that. Um, do we want to save the basil for the high power? We're, we're still a bit far away, so I'm thinking we'll do, honestly just do this. And then we will end our turn. Okay, you're gonna attack for six, we have five. We can get to six if you want to. I don't want to use the Wormwood yet because we haven't actually taken any damage. And we are on this one. So if we play the Torch Lily, we would go up here. Well, we have to play it anywhere at some point, so we might as well get rid of the, um, the shield. Let's get us to plus six so we actually don't take any damage. Okay, let's, uh, so the Nutmeg will give us two power, which is very nice. That'll give us two high power, meaning that the Micro Basil will now do ten instead of five. Let's do that for some damage. And we will end turn. And now we are dangerously lo uh, close to uh, to this thing. So we can see here, if I hover over, you can see what is, what's happened. Minus four health and minus 50... Um, 50, 50 shield. It will reset it. So sometimes it's it's completely fine. You can you can totally do this. No, nope. misclick almost played it actually. Uh, let's see. Draw two adjacent plants. Kick weed and nutmeg micro basil. Make them free to play. Yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah, that's not what we wanted. But the nutmeg will here will now not increase this or not make us go over. But it will get us to nine, so we don't actually take any damage. So let's do that. Would be nice to rest on a second action here. So what we're gonna do is probably let's play a dandelion that doesn't give us any power, and let's rest. So to reset this. Okay, so this uh, this must attack, uh, uh, must must add attack damage to to, to them. That's uh, that's that's why they 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 increase in power. Okay, so we are in a bit of a time pressure here, to be honest. Um. Okay, let's see. Well, since we don't have any power, we might as well play this. Okay, that's kind of decent. We could do that. Gain a. Um, let's see here. We gain a combo which we could use to play that. It's piercing. That's why it ignores that, which is very nice. So next turn, we're gonna take some damage here. But next turn, we can play the wormwood. Then we'll be in high power, and then we can play the torch lily. We could play it now if we wanted to, but it's not really gonna do much. Yeah. Let's ignore the combo. Let's do that. Honestly, we are gonna play this because that's gonna kill it. Because it's piercing, it ignores this. Excellent. Even better. Okay, we get 10 water. <clears throat> okay, we have 11. And I think we ended on one. So the water does persist between turns here. So here we can skip if we don't feel like we need any permanent garden supplies. To, and if we do that, we gain three water, but for now we're just gonna get the item shop. I hope this is gonna be a little bit easier to see that this is actually a choice. But uh, indeed it is. Let's see. Uh, okay. 
you can water the 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 the, the, the weeds here if you want to. Uh, let's see. You can right click that. I wanted to see if these have variations, but they do not. So I don't think there's any reason really to to water the weed. But if you right click, you can see the variations that that each plant can can grow into. Some of them will have more than one. The nutmeg, for instance. Uh, it can grow into a true nutmeg, which I have seen before, which doubles the, um, the shield, or gives plus three at least. Or it can be a fragrant nutmeg that uh, gives us the same amount of uh, shield, but also applies weak to an enemy. So, uh, yeah. There's, uh, there's tons of variation. This goes for pretty much pretty much everything. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what we have before we start watering. What do we have here? Uh, Look what I've dug up. All yours for the low, low price of three water. A fountain. A simple terracotta pot that waters nearby plants. Okay. Um, that could be kind of nice, I guess. All these four are weeds. Yes. Um, okay. So the, th the, the issue here is that we want to use this in a place that, that saves us to use a watering can. And I'm not sure we can do that because it, 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 if we place it here, it'll, it'll water north, south, east and west. Not, not all around it, just horizontally and vertically um, so I'm honestly thinking maybe we are not gonna buy that so let, let's see what we have here though sneak peek no we do get a we do get some mulch chance to increase or add buffs which is always nice we're definitely gonna be using that um, possibly not on the wormwood since that is something that we'll be playing not so often so we might switch this with something else because then we could do something like this the nasturtium nasturtium whatever it's called is something that i really enjoy so that's something i want to play quite often of course the basils are nice torch lily too we could use it on a nutmeg as well uh, let's see chives let us draw all passives in the deck we don't actually have any at the moment and there's none here at the moment no Okay, we also have a budding lotus. Uh, that, I, I've seen several passives that makes it so if you have them in, in your hand, for instance, then, then buffs are increased, damage is increased, stuff like that. I do like the juniper because it gives us thorns. The budding lotus is nice as well. We do have combo. So honestly, we could buy both of these. Would buy all three of them. That would also stop any further weeds from growing if we buy all three. Ah, not quite. We still have. Uh, we will have a, a single spot left. So that's six. Then we need to water once, twice, and thrice. That's nine means we can't buy all of this so we, we we might well we're not buying this one of course i think we're definitely getting the juniper so let's do that let's water here grow very nice sweet basil heals for two as well awesome i'm not 100 percent sure where uh, exactly what makes them uh, makes them grow but it grows as you water them. But I'm not 100% sure exactly how. Um, yeah, let's get this one as well. Very nice. We want to water these as well. And then we can still get one of these. Yeah. So we can get the mulch, which we definitely will. I don't think I want it on the wormwood. So it might be we do something like... On these, so on Juniper, Thyme, 
totally a nutmeg. Well, you know, actually, we still have one left. We could turn these. We could flip, the, uh, flip this one for something else. I think we will. Honestly, I love the juniper. So let's switch those two around. Nice. Extra thorns. That's awesome. Gain strength. That's good as well. No, no on that. And a combo. Perfect. Very nice. Zero water. I cannot complain about that. Let's see. Yep, they grew. Oh, they, they withered. Yep. No weeds. That's good. Okay, let's see. Do we want to get brunch or do we want to drop off dry cleaning? Well, we don't actually need any health at the moment. So we might as well go ahead and drop off our dry cleaning. We could propagate over here for a, for a chance to duplicate a plant. Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, we are fighting the shadows. From dusty corners and stairwells, you feel them grab and pull at you. Okay. Well, instantly we can do that. You are now free to play, which is nice. I can play you for free. Unfortunately, there's no way for us to get to high power. And play one of these. Not yet, anyway. We, I think we want to play this for sure, because the combo disappears. Uh, we'll save this one, because that, that's going to deal the most damage. And I think that it doesn't matter which order we do this in, so let's do that. Uh, of course, it actually does matter. I'm just... Uh, I'm dumb. Okay, fair enough. Lesson learned. We are playing that one. And we'll keep the budding lotus for next turn. We actually still have a... An action point. Yeah, that's, that's definitely my mistake. Let's get some uh, shield, because why not? Okay. I think we are going to be playing the... It's a shame that we cannot get the strength here for the Budding Lotus. That's okay, though. We'll do the thyme. We get double double attack here for you. And we can play you with the, uh, the combo. Yes. And then we are going to play you. Because we want to heal. Six. It's okay. We are not at high power. He's gonna sneak. He's gonna add lints to our deck. That's okay. We can do... Ooh. Okay, so we are probably going to rest no matter what here. So I might as well play this one. It's not gonna do any damage. It's gonna get rid of the shield and give us strength. And then we're gonna rest, because we are very, very high up. Okay, unplayable with us if unplayed. Okay, that's good. Well, we want to do this. Yes, and we're not gonna take any damage. He's gonna take three. We might as well do this, because that gives, gets us to high power for the next turn. So hopefully we are gonna draw a lot of damage cards that could even kill him. Uh, we didn't, but that's still 16. That's not bad at all. Well, this is actually going to get us to high power, I think. Yes. Perfect. Piercing 10. That's going to kill it. Very nice. Okay, we get 10 water and... And what do we... Yeah, let's let's try it. Let's try the propagates. Because I... Uh, yeah, they are all gone. Very nice. I absolutely love the juniper. Uh, pick a plant and I'll try to propagate it onto adjacent empty tiles. Oh, okay. Okay, so we do need to move it out. Let's see what we have here. Get some daikon. Eternal. 
It's eternal. Okay. Has an effect has an effect just for being in your deck. Unplayable. Okay. Low health, 30% or less of your max. Okay, deal plus 50% damage at low health. Well, let's try to stay away from that. There's another budding lotus that we don't necessarily think we want two of them. A crocosmia. I'm probably but butchering these names, but... Uh, attack for damage equal to power of plants in row. Okay, so this, uh, these are row where we plant it. So right here, for instance, this has one, two, and one. So this, if we place it right here, I think it would do four. You know, these are not amazing. Although two, two, two is kind of amazing. Uh, that would be six. Actually, it would be eight because it, it gives two on its own. That might also be a reason why we not why we don't want it. We don't have we don't want too many cards that gives too much power. We would just be resting all the time. So maybe this time, what we're gonna do is we'll be propagating this thing. So we want to move it out. We could move it there and then move this one away as well. Let's try. Okay, we got one. I think we're good with that. We need to water as well. We need to water as well. And we can do that. Yes. Water right there. We'll water right there. It grows. Nice. Blooming basil to all enemies. Very nice. And then we want you over there. Then we can water you as well. Okay. Didn't get to do the sulfur, which was a shame, but that's okay. Uh, let's harvest. Okay, two weeds. Survivable, I think. And this is where I think you can pretty much do the entire map if you want to. I think it's just up to us, really, to go wherever we want. Uh, we only have fountains left, which is a bit of a shame, since we don't really need it. But the... Yeah, we can also increase max health at the Fountain of Rest. So if we don't need to heal, at least we can do that. I think we'll visit the gods, the tea gardens here because that's going to give us access to a lot more areas uh, compared to uh, the branch down here. So let's uh, let's go over here. The seamstress, yes. We have an ad here with careful eyes. They measure you up and unblinking begin their work. And I know for a fact that this one, that she will spawn a new needle every time we kill it. Um, so, it might not necessarily be what we go for here. That being said, though, they do a lot of damage. We could do two Junipers. That might not be too bad, actually, here off the get-go. And then we, next turn we do Wormwood to get us to high power, and then a Blooming Basil. 10 damage to all enemies. That should actually kill this one, because we'll do 6 damage with the... Uh, with the thorns here. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. Do take some damage here. But we heal for four right now. Okay, you summon a needle no matter what, actually. That's fair. That's... Let's see. Yeah, next turn we could do Thyme and then Budding Lotus. We are not going to be on high power, unfortunately. That would have been really nice. We'll see what we can do here. I was about to say, maybe if we get this one, then we actually... Uh, no. So it'll be free to play and we'll lose one. Um... <laughs> You do gain combo here, by the way. Yes. I completely forgot that. So we will do that, because then we can do this for 24. Gives one random enemy one strength. Okay, we could kill this one. The Budding Lotus. Or we could, ex we could do... 12 to all. Have him hit us. 
and kill himself. Strength. I don't know in which order they attack, though. If this guy attacks first, we'll be okay. But if this dude goes first, then we'll probably lose health. Let's uh, let's let's find out. Let's let's do this. Yes. Why did you die? You had 16, right? Okay. Well. I think next turn, yeah, next turn we will be able to kill it, doesn't matter what you do, because we have strength. So we'll do Thyme, that'll give us into high power, it'll give us a combo, and it, it'll, that means we'll be able to, to use the Budding Lotus. <coughs> so now we do 36 damage, that's quite nice. Away with you. Didn't even have to rest, very nice. Um, yes, we will definitely get the fountain. I don't think we will heal, but we will get max health, because why not? Okay, let's see what we get. Another budding lotus, which we don't need. The nasturtium, or nasturtium, I don't know what it's called. It's very nice, and we have the chives, which we don't need. We do get something new here called limestone. Makes soil more alkaline. It's chance to raise uh, defense. Which goes nicely with a lot of our stuff. Maybe we move some stuff around. We want to remember that we need to water as well, but I would like this one to be there then. This one to be there, something like that. Come on, nope, nope. Wow. Just the one, okay. That's okay. Gross, very nice. Scaly juniper, extra... What's it called? Extra, extra, extra defense there, very nice. Okay, we have enough for this one, so let's do that. Uh, ah, these are all... Ah, we have the Wormwood there now, that's okay. What about these? Yeah, let's see what we get here. Nope. Poison to enemy, okay. Well, we got some poison. Let's uh, continue on. You will, that's good. Lost two there, that's okay. Two weeds, that's not I ideal, but it's okay. Okay, let's see, I think... Let's, uh, let's do one more battle here, and then we'll attempt the boss. I've only tried it once, and I died, so it's not the... Uh, definitely not a, uh, a guarantee here. We could do this, the wish, for five water. We can upgrade a plant into a variation. That pretty much means we are not doing much else other than watering, but I think that's that seems okay. Let's try that. Train conductor. I don't think I've done this one. You're so close to the beach, but nervously fumble for some proof you are allowed. Okay, 105. Okay, check your ticket. Place a card from your hand against you. Interesting. Well, in that card, I think I hope it's not going to be the budding lotus, but I think we're going to play this one then. Let's get rid of the torch lily then. Hopefully the strength is not counting, or the high power, because then we are pretty close to death. You're welcome to play the Wormwood, my friend. Ah, okay, played it on, on himself. Yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Um, oh, this is, a, this is a bit of a sh... Ah, it's actually okay, it's actually okay. Let's, uh, let's do Wormwood. Because there's a lot of defense and we heal. And let's do Nutmeg. That gives us up to high power. Hopefully next turn we'll be able to get a... Um, what's it called? A combo. We might have to accept some damage. But I think I will, to be honest. I'll be. I'll happily take that. No, we didn't get it. Okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. Then do this. Means we are not taking any damage. Then let us rest. It doesn't mean we lose our hand. That's okay. We got a ticket. Whatever that does.
Ooh, this is um, this is actually a difficult choice. I like the juniper, of course. I don't want him to have thorns. But these are also a lot of damage he could potentially be dealing to us here, so I think we're going to be playing these. And hopefully he does... Yeah, okay. Either that or the nutmeg would have been great. Sweet basil? Uh, no, we're going to do the juniper. And honestly, let's do the nutmeg. Get us up to that higher power. We'll take one here, but that's okay. He takes 15 because of our thorns. That's insane. I mean, we're probably pretty close to be able to killing him here. We need you, that's for sure. Do you? And honestly, uh, let's see. I think we're gonna try and and play this card. I'm not sure if we play this first and then it's minus fifty percent. It's it probably is. Let's find out. Yeah, but it's it's. I think it's it's still okay. We can still play this, to be honest, so let's do that. Heal for two, do three. We take four, he takes 21. What is this? Card is destroyed when played. Okay. Well, you can only play the ticket now, friend. Oof. Well, that's uh, uh, unfortunate here, here at the end, but... Yeah, let's, uh, let's grab that one. Okay, for five water, I'll convey a wish to one of your plants. It will grow into a variation if it hasn't already. Okay, so what do we have? What can you become? Draw all adjacent plants. But you could do that for free if we're lucky. Well, we are not, so I think... On, oh, honestly, I think I like that. Let's do that. You grow, yes. We get a lot of free cards whenever we play that. Um, yeah, I think... Fuchsia. Fuchsia, I don't know. Um, damage for... For damage equal to... Or attacks for damage, damage equal to... Um, equal to shield. And, and then you take three damage, okay. While in hand, gain... Two thorns when hit. Paper flower. Yeah, this is a passive. A burdock. Attack two times for three damage each. Okay, well, these could probably be kind of nice, but luckily we can't really fit them. So we are just going to be watering here. Very nice. True nutmeg. Extra, extra defense. We can always use that. That grew as well. Poker plant. Two, two times for five damage each. Okay. Okay, it does keep its 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 upgrade. I was uh, I was I was wondering that this one got upgraded for an extra attack. But instead of two times four, it's two times five. Uh, uh, let's do you as well. No growth. That's okay. Um, honestly. Uh, these are three, so we can't really do anything there. Honestly, I'm thinking we might want to 
might want to stop by and get some brunch and heal before we go into the boss here. I think that's a, that's a, 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 a sound, sound decision. It's the air, you think. Something in the air swells like poison. Oh, I remember this guy. This is... He's not fun. Let's do that. Get some thorns going. Do that as well. Get us to, uh, to higher power. And it's a lot of damage. Let's do that. And let's do this, because that's going to get us to higher power. And that means we are going to kill it. Yeah. I think that was the, the right decision here to, uh, to do this. We could probably have milked it a little bit, the battle, and, and played some, uh, some, some heal cards. But I think this is going to be just fine. Uh, we can check this one out. Rosemary, we know this one as well. Chamomile, that might be something we want to have in our in our deck. While in hand, attack damage plus uh, attack deals plus fifty percent damage. That's very nice. Let's do these. Ooh, not bad at all. We like draw. Uh, you are a juniper, so we want you, yes. We need to water extra time here, but that's okay. And we can do mulch as well. We can actually do both mulch and blood meal. Uh, is there anything we want that on? That one could be nice. Unfortunately, these two are not uh, on top of each other, and there's nothing we can do to change that. We don't have the resources for it, but, you know, this one is fine. Yes, very nice. Okay, so then we have this one. Nice. Combo, always good. Two strength. Okay. Well, I think uh, it'll be a, a nice... A nice conclusion here to the video to try and defeat this boss. I didn't do it last time. It was quite nasty. The tide rises to meet you. It's your face that stares back. She takes from you time and time again. Okay. They do a lot of damage, which is a bit of a problem. And we actually... We, we don't have... Oh, this is, this is horrendous. Hook. Discards a random card at the end of your turn. Okay, well, there's honestly not much we can do. I would like to save the basil, to be honest, to heal a little bit more, but I guess it's better than nothing. Let's get rid of a chickweed as well, then. Wow, that's a tough start. They're doing nothing. Okay. Doesn't exactly help necessarily. We want we, we, we need some uh, we need some, some defense here. Otherwise we're gonna die real quick. There goes the, the thing. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Yeah, twenty eight. Question becomes, do we nutmeg first or do we wormwood? I think we nutmeg first, to be honest. I think the poison is nice, but I think the heal and the uh, defense here is, is, is a little bit better. We only take two damage now, which is nice. We need our junipers to come out so we can get a lot of thorns because uh, our enemy here does this. A lot of attacks. Now let's get you out. We can play a lot here, so we might as well 
do that. We're gonna take four to to kind of rest here, but I think that's worth it because we heal four anyway. And let's do this. Get some poison on you again. It decreases one every turn. Okay. This is gonna be a tough battle. Where is our juniper? You are free to play. Or maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. Get you up to higher power. You can do that for 16. 15, I guess. You can still do the sweet basil. Because we have tons of combo, and we can get rid of the chickweed. Okay, okay, decent enough turn. That was our juniper, by the way, that's probably gonna get discarded now. No, luckily. Very nice. 28 damage coming our way, that's... That's scary. I guess we rest. And we are frail now, which means we definitely need some... Uh, Need some defense now. Let's play this one. Yes. We'll play this. Play the true nutmeg as well. That'll get us to higher power, which we can use to play one of these. We can probably play all of these, to be honest. Yes, if we do this one first... Play this as well. Could play this one for 12. We're gonna lose it actually, so we might as well play it. But if we could have saved it for next turn, maybe with higher power and the, um, the whatever it's called, plus 50% attack damage in hand, it could have been real good. But since we're gonna lose it, we might as well. This is getting uh, this is getting down to the wire. It would be nice to 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 win it, but I'm not sure we can. We had higher power, meaning we would take damage if we do this. Four times for sixteen damage each. That's that's a kill. I'll take it. We won. Very nice. Awesome. That was uh, that was down to the wire for that one. You win the demo. Thanks for playing the alpha demo. Well, there you have it. That's been a look at Wild Seasons. I'm extremely happy that we, we managed to squeeze out a win there. I was not expecting that. Last time I was here, I got completely, uh, uh, completely destroyed. I had no chance at all. But um, yeah, that's been a look at it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care.